Hello everybody, my name is Nanya, and today we are back in the world of Daysim, where we look down upon our many cities and kingdoms. You got Nam back over there, Eden, Kidapi, whatever that is, whatever that is, not gonna try, and Zacharia, and the volcano, and that random island all the way over there for whatever reason. Of course, you got all the ships going around, trading with everyone. And I think I remember there being like a big ship that belonged to a kingdom. Because if I remember correctly, I made Nam back a kingdom. But it looks like they are no longer a kingdom. Because, hold on, let's, let's go back over here. Looks like they're no longer a kingdom because they don't have the kingdom thing. So I guess they don't want to be a kingdom. I'll just leave them be. But I might make Relima, Re Relima over there over here i might this i might make this place a kingdom jesus i i don't know english uh so yeah we're gonna head over find the inspiration and there you go mumbala mumbila i don't know how to say that let's let's get down with them and talk with them so here you have their queen alima ah alima the queen she's fearless and greedy uh well, it doesn't look like she has any children, so I don't know how long this royal bloodline is going to continue. Especially if I didn't catch her there. Well, you have fun, Queen Alima. Don't land on the fire. And, uh, I'll, I, I guess I'll see you. I was going to cut, that's why you probably saw the weird editing there. But then I looked over here at, uh... Almadid, Almadid. I know that's not how you say it, but that's what I always call it. I like calling it that. And I realized it's a lot of palm trees and stuff. Like, we need some areas over here that don't have trees because they're gonna have a pretty hard time ever expanding if there's always, like, trees all around. So eventually, they're gonna have to do their own thing. But maybe I'll... That's not what I want. I want not that either. I want normal desert. Just some normal little desert area. And, uh, I think possibly get some mines, because I do know that I need to get some mines going places. And out here in, like, the sunny region, they do make gold, which will eventually be necessary. Alright, so I don't know who makes gold then, because looking at our miracles, uh, a swamp. I guess we could get some swamp lands. Let me stand up here, because I don't usually do that. So you know what, I say we get some swamplands over here near the water, that would make the most sense. And I think I'll get like a few little squares of swampland out here. And we'll just surround this in water, it'll be like a weird little shortcut over here, because these guys have a little waterway going this way. And we could- oh my, I have almost a thousand god power, that, that's great. We'll just connect this thing up here. Very beautifully. I don't know why we just have this strip of uh, grass here. That's it's kind of weird. I say we get rid of that, and you know what? Just because why not? I'll put a volcano there. You know? I mean, it's you go from snowy mountain to burning. Oh, there's a fire in Eden. Oh my! It's gonna kill the red pandas. I can't let that happen. Okay, guys, fire be gone. Stop fire, fire! But hey, are you trying to kill my red panda? Oh, never mind. Oh, hey! That's not cool, bro. Reviving the- You! Who do you think you are? Oh my god. Imagine being this person. You're as high up as the moon right now, Jew. Why don't you sit on the moon and think about what you've done, huh, Jew? You wanna go ahead? Oh, you're 75. You're already like 40% HP. Why don't you think about what you did? Oi. I- Oh, oh, ah, uh, I didn't murder you, what are you talking about? I should not have just thrown the moon. Come back, okay, nope, the moon is gone. Come back, come back, I'm your god and I demand that you come back. Let's get down here, I, you guys aren't doing anything and honestly that's boring. And because you're boring me, I think I'm gonna give you a little bad omen. Oh, ooh. there's another royal down here. Look at this. Uh, raised taxes. Well, that's not very nice. But it looks like Queen Alima, who last time I checked was very old. Yeah, she's 60 now. Don't die. Queen Alima has had a little child 
named Janan, or Janan, or whatever his name is. He's the prince. He's an industrious passive. You should be the king. Honestly, I might kill- but you're only 14, 15 now. Okay, so apparently when you go from 14 to 15, your voice just immediately changed. Like, when you're 14, you're like, Yeah, come on! And then when you're 15, you're like, Yeah, goodbye. Yeah, it doesn't really make that much sense, but alright. Anyway, he's an industrious pacifist. You should be king. You know, you're probably a better choice than your mom over here. Queen Alima. Sorry, sir. Who is what? A fearless and greedy. Oh, you're burnt. You don't look like you're burning. You actually look fine. Okay, the queen's about to die, though. Wrong one. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. How do I... Where's rain? No, no, no. I don't want your people to make it rain. I just want to help you, Queen Alima. Alright. See ya. Hi. Ooh. Oh, yeah, she's fine. Don't worry about it. I just tossed her. Speaking of fine, okay, I'm doing this thing. Ooh, another town. Not gonna try to pronounce that name. That's interesting. You guys really decided to build all the way out here where there's no water. <laughs> it's just a mom and her two children. Let's get down here and take a look at them. So you got the two kids, male, female. Sorry, male, female. Yeah, you can tell by because of their hair. So you got Lee and Yamashita. She's a generous coward, and he's a coward. He's an industrious coward. <laughs> you got all the people bringing in their fruits and fish and cabbages, and you just walk through the fire. I kind of feel bad for them, because that huge fire really just took out their forest. They can't do anything now. Oh, somebody raised an army. How about we check this out over here in Villa? Oh, look at that. I've never seen... Oh, my, I'm getting really turned around. I've never seen the Egyptian armies. They look really Hi. interesting. <laughs> look, at, look at that. Look at that sword. I mean, shield. That's a very nice-looking shield. And that, It's like the cutlass. I like their little design here. It looks nice. Very beautiful. I'm interested in seeing who they're gonna go after because armies aren't just raised for no reason. Oh, look at that. They didn't like me, but that's gone up now. <laughs> yeah, as I was saying, armies aren't just raised for no reason. They are going to go and fight somebody, go to war with somebody. I'm interested in seeing who that'll be. And we got a heretic over here. I was ignoring him for a while, but... Hey. Hey. Hello. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> Alright, so we got a, lazy, a fearless and lazy heretic. Alright, sir. Let me tell you how I feel about your heresy. <laughs> die. All of you, die. Why are you clapping? Why are you clapping? Don't worry, they'll be fine. Yeah, they're just literally turning green. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe that was a little much. I'll heal you guys. Alright, I'm a nice person. Maybe I'll do a little human experiment. Oh, hold up, hold up. They're marching their army. So the army of Relima has gotten over here to Kidapi, and they're fighting these guys, and this guy with a bow and arrow just marches off to go kill a red panda. Meanwhile, his village is getting murdered. My goodness. That's not very nice of you now, is it? This guy doesn't even have any weapons. He's just fist fighting. Okay, well that just wasn't fair. You had to go in there with your sword. Looks like Relima. Yep, they've taken over. They've annexed Kidapi. Well, that's not very nice of you. Oh, we got a heretic over here in Almadid. Go away. Up. All right, we got uh, Sally. Sal Salad. Okay, I'm not. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna call you Salad. Is that okay with you? I don't really care. You're a heretic. If it's not okay with you, then I'll burn you in a volcano. Uh, anyway, we got a lazy heretic over here. He's 24 years old. Uh, interesting. Let me actually really quickly head over and check on our new colony, our new civilization. Hey, you can live here for a little bit. I've got things to do. I kind of decided that I want to expand this place out a little bit. There's a possibility that I could destroy this little path here and allow them to get some water. Now, the reason I want water here so bad is because... Okay, you, you get past there. Hurry up, hurry up. 
That's not a void. The reason I want to get water connecting everywhere is because you need water connected to places to allow them to trade. Or it'll look really weird, so let's just make sure we're doing that real nice. I like to diversify, get some forests here, get some other stuff there. We'll put a little lake there for them to fish and stuff. You know, we'll put some water down, some trees, maybe some swamplands around the volcano. Ouch! I just whacked my wall. Interesting. Alright, so uh, I did not mean to plop down those swamplands. I do know that swamplands can make them sick. I do know that they can get a disease started because of squabblins, so I don't know about that. Ah, maybe I should regenerate these trees. The reason I haven't is because I kind of want to do it like I'm not interfering that much with them. But let's just say trees are allowed to regrow if they were burned down. Like, if they chop down the trees, I won't regrow them. But if they don't chop down the trees and the trees are burnt due to, like, natural causes, then I, I guess I should fix them. I mean, you can still get wood off of those trees, but that that's about it. Over here at Kraken. I'm just gonna call this place Kraken. That's not the name. I know. I don't care. They have a lot of forests. Maybe even too many forests to... What is this? You you're not even you can't just kill these things and just leave their bodies. There's multiple bodies of polar bears. Let's revive these idiots. Come back to life, polar bears. No, hey you. Who do you think you are? You're doing it to the wolves too. You're just bad people. Who do you think you are? What's your name? Lorelei. Lorelei. You're 99? Okay, never mind. You can go back, woman. I'm not gonna- Oh. Her cause of death was age, okay? She died at 100. It wasn't me. I'll just- It never happened, okay? None of you- You never saw this, alright? Over here in Almadid. Maybe I'll- I'll see. I kind of want to test something. Like a little experiment. With the disease functionality. Now, I'm pretty sure diseases can be spread. Eden has reached the medieval age. Oh, that's nice. You know what? I'm gonna actually... I helped them out one time, so now I'm also gonna give them locusts just to balance it out. It's a little balance. Like, why are you cheering? Oh, I gave them a disease. I did not mean to do that. I'll just heal you guys again. I meant to give you locusts. There you go. Oh, look at this kid. Who are you? Who do you, who do you think you are, boy? Who are you? This is Kasim. He's a coward generous. He's a generous coward. And he's 20 years old. Well, for a coward? Hey! You sure didn't cower in fear like everyone else when I put down those locusts. So you know what? I'm gonna use you for my experiment. Let's go really high in the sky and I'm gonna drop this tiny little, little seed of a disease on you. <laughs> So now this one guy is sick, and let's see, I made him sick again, whoopsie, let's see how fast he can spread his disease upon everyone. Just a tiny little god experiment, you do need to move, okay sir? There you go, let's see how quickly his little disease spreads. I think I'll leave Almadid, and uh, we'll venture back here to see how that will win. These guys in Acelium, they still do not like me. I mean, ever since I did that one thing that I've already forgotten, they just hate me. Battle! Screw you. Oh. Following the omen, Alima has decided to attack. Whoops. <laughs> That's your fault, I guess. I mean, I'll... Let me go ahead over here. I'm surprised that Alima's still alive, to be honest. Where even is she? Queen Alima. Queen Alima. <laughs> Oh god, they're raising a big army. Oh no, Queen Lima. What are you doing? What are you doing, Queen Lima? She's dying. Okay, Queen Lima, I'm just gonna heal you up real quick. Queen Lima. I don't know why, but I, I kind of like you. I do definitely like all that nice gold they have. I really like that. It says that she declared war on them because she's fearless and greedy. She's greedy for the power. That makes, actually, Kirby mate, my, excuse me, I'm super bad at English. I don't know English. 
Kidipi over here may or may not head over to Ralameh and actually revolt and declare that their independence. They might start their own little... Look at that, I'm pretty sure those are Eden and Kidipi's ships because once they reach the medieval age, their ships get bigger. And I know you can reach the, uh, the modern age, so I'm interested to see. Are they just going to be rolling around in cruise ships or what? That'll be, that'll be interesting to say the least. Uh, definitely interesting. And then you have these tiny little boats over here. Oh, looks like Ralama not only is going after that one pirate place, but they're also coming over Alma did. That one guy's still sick. They're gonna kill the sick guy. Yeah, he died instantly because he was low from that disease. All right, Queen, what's her name? She's getting too... She's getting too greedy. Strike them down. I smited her forces, and now I'm gonna head over to her kingdom. Okay, she's getting way too greedy. We gotta step her down a notch. I know I just healed you like 50 times. What? Okay, woman, you're you're going too far. You already got Kidipi, and then you went and got Eden, and then you tried to go after Almadid, and you're also trying to go after Asalium, or whatever they're called. Listen, woman, you've, you've gone too far now. You're gonna have to get sacrificed. Not like that, don't worry. Let me catch you, you'll be fine. I'm a very good catch, I, I'm, I know, I'm a god. You're gonna have to get sacrificed. Hmm... I don't know, I don't know. How should I do it? So many methods. I could put her in a maelstrom. I could avoid her. I could give her a locust. How do you feel about locusts? I mean, they don't really do anything except for scare you. So it doesn't matter. You know, like I could put you right in the heart and you don't care. I could set you on fire. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm not gonna set you on fire. I'm gonna set your people on fire. That didn't work very well. I'm gonna set your people on fire! And now you will watch your people b Whoops! <laughs> that was an accident. Oh! Wh whoopsies! I think their new leader, the prince, died. Uh... <laughs> Oopsie doopsie. Let's actually make this new little colony over here. Let's make them the new world superpower. The new kingdom. The kingdom of Asato. Asasato. Asasato. I love this name. It's very pronounceable. I, I don't English well, so I need a very pronounceable name. A UFO is approaching. What? Wait! Hell, hold on! What the? Lun Lund? Who do you think you are, cracking a low well, well, uh? I was only gonna do something because it said a UFO was coming for him, but then... Come here. Come here. Go back to where you came from. These idiots found... What did it say? The heretics of Kraken have come together and founded Lunlund. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? You wanna you wanna do that? You wanna play that game, do ya? Do you? Well two <laughs> can play at that game. Tornado! Disarming! I hope you all die in this natural disaster. You know what? Fire! Die by my hands, you imbeciles! Who do you think you are? I am a god! You do not revolt against me! Yeah! Yeah! That's a few. I'll put the fire out now, because like... I don't want to kill the other- you know, I don't want to kill everybody. I just want you guys to think about what you've done and apologize. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Uh... <sighs> Maybe I went a little overboard. I was just sitting over here at Eden, trying to get a thumbnail picture. And all of a sudden, that happened, you know? Like, as this game is very interesting with the controls, because both hands allow you to move the camera and move. So when I'm trying to get a good angle by moving the right stick, sometimes I accidentally move using the right stick, which I personally think is really stupid that you can't change which hand you use to move. But yeah, that's why I just did what I did by accident. 
I keep teleporting all over the place sometimes. I'm just looking at the destruction after that tornado, and to be honest, I don't think it did enough damage. I mean, it killed a few wolves. I'm gonna revive them because I'm not a monster. Unlike some people. You know, so- Oh! Lundlund is at war with Asato! Asasato, sorry, excuse me. Asasato is these guys over here. Lundlund has 12 people. Asasato has also 12 people. Lund- Alright, Asasato has a little army. Let's see how many people. They have one, two. An army of two. Good job, Asasato. I- Alright, let's- This isn't cheating, you know? I'm just giving them- just giving them a few more people, you know? A few more soldiers for their army. They have an army of four. And you have fucking Lund over here. You got a little Lund Lund. Alright, and they got... Ooh. Alright, listen. I don't like Lund Lund, but I do like this armor, alright? It looks pretty nice, King. Hello. What's your name? King Yan? I want to eat you, Yan. I really want to just... You know, the other person I did by accident, but you, yeah. I really just want to crush you in my hands, and then I want to devour your bones. But hey. I won't. I'll let you die. Uh, I'll let uh, nature take its course, Jan. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the armies are marching. So they have two, four, six. Uh, actually, no, do they have six? How many people? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, they have six people in Ludlun's army. And they have six people in my favorite Asasato's army. Who will win the war? I know who I'm betting on. Oh, I think I'm missing the fight. Hold on. Guys, wait. Hold on. Wait, wait. Guys. All right, we got the war going on here. It's kind of anticlimactic. Oh, no. 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 They killed him. Oh, no. Lun Lun. They killed the guy from Asasato. Lun Lun is winning. They're winning the war. Hi. You! Hello. Get out of here. Who do you think you are? You're a priest, are ya? But you're for them. <laughs> Go back home. Oh no. No, Asasato's gonna lose. They're gonna lose. Uh. It. I. I wanna do something about it so bad. I'm not gonna do anything. You know, but wouldn't it be a shame if one of them just happened to get just... You know, wouldn't that be a shame? Wouldn't that be such a shame if one... Oh, no. Would you shut up? Go away. No, they killed the leader of Asasato! Save him! Ah, they killed the leader! Hello. Die! Die by my hands, you Hello. stupid Lun Lun! They have to kill the king. I'm not gonna let them kill King Iha. Bro. No! Lun Lun won! Alright, that's it. Lun Lun, who do you think you are, bucko? Where's King Leon, or whatever his freaking name was? Who do you think you are? Yeah, you. You hey, right here. Yeah. Who do you think you are? Come here. Give me you. King Yan, all right? Buddy, you just wiped out. My little favorite yeah. boys over here. Who do you think you are, Yan? Oh, wait, no, I almost dropped him. <sighs> Listen, Yan, the only reason I'm not gonna kill you is because I want to see you die in a very funny way.